Good morning. Good morning. I was thinking today that we're going to start sitting all the way back. So our back is touching the back of the chair. Yeah. And we're going to start by pressing the back into the back of the chair and let go. And notice how many parts of your back touching the back of the chair and let go. And start experimenting, trying to touch maybe the lower part, maybe a little bit higher, letting go. See if the ribs can touch the back of the chair. See if your shoulder blades can touch the back of the chair. Can the center between the shoulder blades touch the chair? And again, play with maybe, see if the pelvis can go back. Maybe if the, if the lumbar can go back. If the lower ribs can touch the chair. If the shoulder blades can touch the chair. If the center between the shoulder blades can touch the chair. And let it go. Make sure that you're all the way to the back of the chair. And we're going to start by lowering the chin down. And notice how many vertebras in your neck. We have seven. Can you feel that actually move and able to separate? Are you only moving from one vertebra or are you able to tuck your chin a little bit and slowly roll your head as if it was a very heavy ball and separate one vertebra from the other until you get to the base of your neck, to the seventh cervical. And then roll back up. And again, tuck your chin a little bit and see if you can ge very gently create movement between the vertebras in your neck. And as you pay attention to the vertebras of your neck, pay attention to your chin. Is the chin going straight in the center of your chest? Or is there a leaning to one side of, or another? And the next time we're going to come up and as we exhale and we go down, we actually we're going to go down towards the aligning with the nipple of the left side. So one side of the neck is stretching and the other side is contracting. And again, exhale and roll your head gently down the slope, working with every single vertebra that is allowing you to move it one at a time if possible without tension. Just with a breath, exhale, and roll down, and inhale, and roll up, and exhale, and roll down, and inhale, and roll up, and let's change the head and direct the chin to the right nipple and exhale, roll the head, inhale, roll the head up the heel, exhale, roll the head down the heel. Are you able to separate between the vertebras of your neck? I need to bring my chin a little bit in and down to be able to activate the upper vertebras. See if you can tune in to what you do and how you do it. So we're exhaling and we're rolling the head, 
and we're rolling it back up. And we'll do it one more time to the right side. And we're gonna roll it back up. And bring the head to the center. Take a breath, exhale. Take another breath from the center, from the center of your pelvis, all the way from, from the hip, up. Up, 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 up. See if you can get through the neck, up to the top of the head. Hold the breath and let it go. And then roll down to the center and see if you, it's a little softer than it was earlier. And roll up. The next movement we're going to roll down in the center and we're going to change like a clock. We're going to move the chin from right to left. So, inhale, exhale, And now start swinging the chin from right to left very, very gently, very softly. And the next time you come to with your head to the right, stay to the right, no pressure. And just take your eyes up to the corner, up, and down to the corner, down. So you're moving only the eyes from the right to the left. The chin stays to the right. Eyes up and eyes down. From one corner of the eye to the other corner of the eye. The chin and the head stays to the right. Only the eyes are moving. Last time. And now move your head down to the center. And swing your chin to the left. And move with the eyes up to the corner. And down to the corner. And up to the corner. And down to the corner. Your head stays tilted to the left, the chin is to the left, and only the eyes are moving up to the corner and down to the corner, and up to the corner and down to the corner. And one more time, up to the corner, and let go with the eyes, and let go the chin, and swing right, and swing left, and swing right, and swing left, come to center, roll your head up and exhale and roll your head down and see how your neck feels. Allow your eyes to come up with the head. Allow your eyes to come down with the head. Good. And roll your head up. Press your head, your back to the back of the chair. And now roll your neck down, your head down, roll your neck down, slide your hands forward and very, very slowly unglue your back from the back of the chair. Allow your head, your hands to slide and allow your back to round and round and round. As far as it feels comfortable. And stay where it feels comfortable. And now just push your back backwards a little bit without moving your arms. And let go and kind of drop forward. And pull your back back without moving your arms. And allow your back to fall forward. Allow gravity to work on your back. Pull the back back up but without moving your hands so it's very small movement your back is still rounded and now let go and let the back fall forward and 
move back without moving your arms from the chair, from the knees, and let it go. And roll back up, and allow your arms to come back. So just to make sure that you understand what I'm talking about, my back is all the way back to the chair. I'm allowing my arm to to take go forward. My back is rounding. Over here, I'm starting to feel the stretch, so I stop. I pull back, and I let go. I pull back, and I let go. So my hands don't move from where they got. Okay? So let's do it together. I'm going to move back so I can see you. <coughs> so back all the way back to the chair, and eyes, and chin, and neck and rolling the arm forward until you feel a slight stretch in the back and wherever that stretch is you stop and you pull back and you drop it 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 and see if you can go just a tiny little bit more forward. Wherever your arms are, keep them there. Your forearm is somewhere on the knees and pull back and let go. 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 And pull back and let go and see if you can drop a little bit further down and pull back and let go pull back let go pull back let go and put one hand on your, above your knee and the other hand above your knee and roll your back up to erect Wonderful. See how the back feels on the chair. Slide your back a little bit from right to left. And allow the spine to kind of angulate from right to left. From left to right. We used to call it the bear rub. Years ago when we did the classes, I usually ended the class with allowing the spine to touch the chair and try to get the movement of the spine itself. So I'm not moving the whole thing from right to left. I'm trying to move inside my body, the spine. Even if it's tiny, tiny little movement. Beside the large muscle that goes up the spine, the erector spina, there's smaller muscle that connect one vertebra to the next on the sides and in the center. Okay. Take your right hand and put it on your left hand on your left leg. And we're going to slide the right arm forward, pulling the right side of the back into rotation and flexion. I'm rounding my back as it's rotating. So now I'm kind of looking towards my left and slide the right arm back up. So I'm on diagonal, right? And slide the right arm and let it go. Round your back, but now you're in rotation. Allow your head to go and look to the left side. See if you can soften the ribs. Once you soften the ribs, the movement is so much more delicious. And there's less muscle pulling and stretching and more efficiency of the movement and coordination between all parts. So you inhale, you exhale as you move down. Air is coming out of the lungs, giving you more space for full flexion. 
and you inhale on the way up. How far you go is not important, but what's important is to rotate and flex. Use the eyes looking to the left. Allow the ribs to soften. Good. And let's take the right arm to the right leg and the left arm to the right side. Inhale and exhale as you go down. And start small. Find it. Listen to the ribs. Listen to your exhale. Listen to the eyes looking to the right corner, maybe up even. See what you can do to in, have more parts of you doing the movement to make the movement more efficient, more delicious, softer. And one more time to the right. And coming back up. And let's slide all the way to the edge of the chair. Legs, feet underneath the knees. Right hand over the left hand on the left leg. And we're going to do the same thing. Going to the left. But now we can go so far that our weight goes into our legs. You may leave the chair. You may stay on the chair. So I'm going to do it this way so you can see that I, go, I rotate so far and I lean, I flex my back so far that I can shift my weight to my legs and my hip can come up off the chair. And why am I doing this? To get your legs strong so they can hold you. Right? So, again, going over the left leg, rotating and flexing until you may be able to have the weight on your legs only. And come back up. And if not, just keep on practicing and get stronger on your thighs. Actually, the whole legs. Let's do it one more time. Going to the left. And sliding. Good. Let's put the right hand on the right leg, the left hand on the right hand, and starting sliding. My eyes go down. My eyes actually start going to the right corner as my background, as I'm rotating, and I find the place that I can shift my weight into the legs. The important thing is not to lift your butt. The important thing is to round the neck, round the back, slide and rotate until it's there. And if it's not there, then it's okay. It's, the important thing is not to succeed, but to find the way towards it. That's really important thing. Because I can force myself, uh, right? But that's not going to be organic and it's not going to be as strong in case I really needed it, right? And slide, rotate, look up towards the ceiling on the right side. And back. And if you have fun with it, we can do it from side. to side. From side to side. You want to round your back. You want to have soft back. Just for a minute, try it with a straight back and see how much harder it is. That's force. That's muscle work. 
but if you let the spine get rounded a little bit, softer, everything moves. Okay, that's enough of that. For some of us it's harder than for others. Pa-pam, 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 pa-pam. Go ahead and rotate yourself diagonally on the chair and hold the chair, we are going to take the right leg, foot up to the left knee while we are rounding the back as if we are trying to bring the leg up to feed ourselves and down. So if the leg goes only to here, that's the same movement. If it goes to the knee, it's the same movement. If I want to go higher, I need to round my back to bring my leg up to my mouth, which I used to be able to do. I guess I'm facing changes too. And exhale and bring the head to the foot and the foot to the head. And come back up. So it's the head and the neck and the back all rounding and coming back up. Sit on the edge of the chair so you have in, in the diagonal so you have enough room to round your back and to come back up. So it's not like a ballerina lifting the leg up with a straight back. That's not it. You round the pelvis, you round the back, you round the neck and the head and come back up. And one more time, exhale and round, 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 round. Excellent. Let's do the other side, sitting on the edge of the chair, in the corner, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, holding the chair with your left hand and the left foot comes towards the knee and higher towards your face and back down and rounding the pelvis rounding and rounding and rounding and just like you I was raised in this society and when I go up I really want to go okay I can do it but I don't I tr really try to stay true to my rounding of my pelvis rounding of my back to see if a better organization of the body can give me better results rather than forcing it oh I can do it oh I can do it okay so exhale and find the relaxation in the whole body doing the movement and let go of all those teachers that say try harder because I don't think that really works and exhale or maybe it's try harder in not trying harder <laughs> And exhale and round. And come back to the center of the chair with your feet on the floor. And we're going to go with the right up and with the left up. And we're going to do it in a faster pace and you're going to have to rock on your sitting bones. You're going to have to get the pelvis rounded back. Round it back. Round it back. Round it back. Good. Round it back. A little faster. Pack. And pack. And pack. You have to round your back. You cannot stay with your back straight. 
doing it like this will not do much good. Round your pelvis and round your back. Try to bring your nose to the foot. Try to bring your nose to the foot, to the heel, to the heel. You're trying to get closer and closer and closer. One more, closer and put your feet down and put your hands on your thighs and we rounded the back a lot now we're going to sink the spine forward with a straight back the back is leaning forward leaning forward leaning forward leaning forward and relax it inhale Exhale and bring the spine forward in between your shoulder blades and bring it back to neutral. And one more time, inhale and bring the spine forward, give it a nice squeeze there. This is muscle work and let it go and take your right arm and scoop it to the left bring it all the way up to the right and back to the leg and take your left and scoop it to the right and we are stretching the arm and all the muscles but if you're going to use what we did earlier and you allow the ribs to bend and rotate you can, it's going to feel so much easier and nicer. And scoop and up and scoop up and over, scoop up and over, scoop up and over, and one more of those scoop up and over. And slide yourself all the way to the back of the chair. Press the pelvis to the chair, to the back. Press your lumbar. Press the ribs, the lower ribs. Press the upper ribs. Press the shoulder blades. See if you can roll your head to the center. See how far it goes, how soft it is. Let go, keep on rolling down. Notice how your back feels now. And roll back up, one vertebra at a time. Take a minute to just sit and feel how it feels. And again, as always, I thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time.